Hello, in this video you will learn about what is light, different light sources and what is illumination. So first question is what is light? Light is an electromagnetic energy and you know light reaches to human eyes after interacting with the physical environment. For example, you can see here we have source of energy, sun and we have object and human eye. Now, light reaches to human eye after interacting with the physical environment. You can see here when the light will fall on the object, after that human eyes can see objects. So, how light reaches to human eyes by interacting with the physical environment and what is light? This is just the electromagnetic energy. Next question is what is intensity? Intensity means quality of light or you can say energy. Intensity of light seen on object surface, it depends on the type of light source. That is the quality of object that you can see on the object surface. It depends on the type of light source. For example, you can see here, you can see the tube light on the object. You can see the here you can see this is the tube light that is on the object. So the quality of light depends on the type of light source. In this picture you can see sunlight on the earth surface. And here you can see this is the candle light. And you can see this is candle light. Among three you can see the brighter one is. You can see the sunlight is more brighter as compared to tube light and the candle light. So the intensity of light that you can see on the object surface it depends on the type of light source that you are using if light is absorbed then object is invisible or you can say it is disappeared that is absence of light is darkness for example you can see here here we have moon but you know moonlight is not as stronger as sunlight so absence of light is darkness it means if light is observed, then object is disappeared or invisible. That is absence of light is darkness. Because when light falls on the object surface, after that object is visible. If light is completely absorbed, we cannot see the environment around us. Next is what is illumination. Illumination is light or you can say glow or lightning. In the illumination model, we will understand the interaction of light with the different light sources. First, we will understand about different light sources. So, object emitting light energy. So, what is object source? That is the object emitting light energy. For example, sun, light bulb or tube light. So, we have different sources of light like sunlight, bulb and tube light. Now, we have two types of illumination on objects. Illumination means glow or you can say light. We have two types that is light emitting sources and light reflecting sources. Light emitting sources are sun or you can say bulb or tube light. Light emitting sources means sources that release light and here you can see light can be released by sun or you can see the by bulb. And light reflecting sources are ball, room balls. For example, you can see we have source of energy sun and we have an object when the rays fall on this object you can see this is the reflecting surface after this you can see this is visible to human eyes if the light emitting source is greater than the object then this is known as disturbed light source this is also known as point source next question is what is point source illumination here point sources means real life light sources that emits light like sun, candle, light bulb. Point sources emit rays from the single point and light comes from a particular direction over particular distance. For example, you can see here, question is what is point illumination? This is the source of light that is sun and we have object and this is the reflecting light that is the light direction after reflection and here we have angle theta 
This is also known as incidence angle theta. When this angle increase, incident light which fall on the surface will be less. So that's just the short introduction about different light sources, what is light and what is illumination. In next video, we will see different types of color models that is used in the computer graphics. So that's all about this video. If you have any question, you can comment below and thanks for watching this video.